Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem Abashai, Bashem Rakakwadash. The bonus unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the confusion of faith, brothers, join unto our ranks. To the hopefully elect, the aqua after the listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. This is a video that was put up by uh, the Advice Show TV. Um, the one um, with Michael Cohen drops receipts on Trump paying off Stormy Daniels. Trump's racism confirmed. That being the title of the video. I say it again. Michael Cohen drops receipts on Trump paying off Stormy Daniels. Trump's racism confirmed. That is the name of the video. And in this video, um, there are a lot of scriptures that, 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 that I'm going to read because they all pertain to what's happening. The shame of Esau, the exposure of Esau, the stupidity of Esau, and Esau telling upon himself. And that scripture seems to come out almost every sit down. So let's start with Psalms. 64 and uh, 8 and it reads so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves and all that see them shall flee away and it's actually pretty embarrassing um, the way that uh, Trump's lawyer is is turn caught on him and dropping dropping dime on him but only because he was caught in his wickedness because up until that time he hadn't said anything and he was aware of all this wickedness that that the president was doing and he wasn't saying a word but it's not until he because he only told the truth because he was looking for some sort of mercy that's the only reason he told the truth because he got caught this is uh Ecclesiasticus of the book of Sirach chapter 10 and, I'm, and the point is in verse uh, 8 actually 2 and 3 but I'm going to start at verse 1 a wise judge will instruct his people and the government of a prudent man is well ordered and America is corrupt and not well ordered at all it came out that Trump ended the meeting. He admitted it. He admitted the, he admitted that he was distracted by Michael Cohen's testimony as he was overdoing uh, deals with Kim Jong Un over in Vietnam about nuclear stuff. So he put his personal matters before the nuclear safety of America, which is the only reason he uh, he ended those meetings because he said that that Vietnam. I mean that uh. Kim Jong Un, the meeting was in Vietnam, but he's the the uh, the ruler of Korea. Uh, Kim Jong Un is, and he lied and said that Kim Jong Un asked for all of the sanctions that America had on Korea, North Korea, to be lifted, when they actually only asked for five. And so the Korean media came out with a, a, a statement in the middle of the night to uh, to say that. So it wasn't their their fault. Trump ended it because he wanted to get back to America so he could start tweeting his lies. All right, and, and, and he's making himself the laughing stock of the world. That's why no one's taking America serious and everyone's turning on America. Sirach 10, verse 2. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man and ruler of the city is such are they that dwell therein? And, you know, all right, and... They're all corrupt from the president down to the, your state government, down to your city government, down to your local government, your military officers, your police officers. The president is corrupt and all of the people under him are corrupt. America is corrupt and that shame is being broadcast to the whole world. Well, today, Donald Trump's lawyer that has been working with him for 10 years has decided to testify before Congress. Now, we know Michael Cohen has been Donald Trump's fixer for a very long time. 
and any person that has a fixer know all the dirt on that particular person. We all know Michael Cohen was charged and convicted in the Mueller investigation. But before he goes to jail, he wanted to tell everything that he knew about Donald Trump. Now, the things that we want to point out in this one is two particular subjects. Now, the first subject we're going to point out is Donald Trump and his paying off of the porn star Stormy Daniels. Now, I want you to hear exactly what Michael Cohen says, and this guy even dropped receipts. Let's go ahead and roll that first clip. Mr. Trump is a con man. He asked me to pay off an adult film star with whom he had an affair and to lie about it to his wife, which I did. And lying to the first lady is one of my biggest regrets because she is a kind, good person, and I respect her greatly, and she did not deserve that. And I'm giving the committee today a copy of the $130,000 wire transfer from me to Miss Clifford's attorney during the closing days of the presidential campaign that was demanded by Miss Clifford to maintain her silence about her affair with Mr. Trump. And this is exhibit four to my testimony. Mr. Trump directed me to use my own personal funds from a home equity line of credit to avoid any money being traced back to him that could negatively impact his campaign. And I did that too, without bothering to consider whether that was improper, much less whether it was the right thing to do or how would it impact me, my family, or the public. And I am going to jail in part because of my decision to help Mr. Trump hide that payment from the American people before they voted a few days later. As Exhibit 5A to my testimony shows, I am providing a copy of a $35,000 check that President Trump personally signed from his personal bank account on August 1st of 2017, when he was President of the United States, pursuant to the cover-up which was the basis of my guilty plea to reimburse me, the word used by Mr. Trump's TV lawyer for the illegal hush money I paid on his behalf. This $35,000 check was one of 11 check installments that was paid throughout the year while he was president. Other checks to reimburse me for the hush money payments were signed by Donald Trump Jr. and Alan Weisselberg. And see for exa that for example, 5B. The President of the United States thus wrote a personal check for the payment of hush money as part of a criminal scheme to violate campaign finance laws. And you can find the details of that scheme directed by Mr. Trump in the pleadings in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York. So picture this scene. In February of 2017, one month into his presidency, I'm visiting President Trump in the Oval Office for the first time, and it's truly awe-inspiring. He's showing me all around and pointing to different paintings, and he says to me something to the effect of, don't worry, Michael, your January and February reimbursement checks are coming. They were FedExed from New York, and it takes a while for that to get through the White House system. As he promised, I received the first check for the reimbursement of $70,000 not long thereafter. Donald Trump a trip. I mean, this guy didn't come here and just talk. He was dropping receipts. He dropped the checks. And what did Esau do? They went on a slander campaign on Cohen now, trying to destroy Cohen's name. Hey, he's a liar and he's this and he's that, you know. And and just just having cognitive dissonance, he, because Cohen came with evidence to produce to prove what he was saying. Same thing we do when we we prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are indeed the Israelites. When I say we, I'm talking about the copper colored people. 
of, that you refer to as Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, all different shades of brown. All right. <clears throat> okay. When we when we give the proof, written and historical documentation proving that we are indeed the children of the Lord and that you are indeed the children of, of, of the left hand side, which is Esau Edom. All right. That you are not the children and the sons of, uh, of Jacob. All right. And you have been found to be liars. And what do you do? You have cognitive dissonance the same way that they had person after person come up and testify in behalf of this lying president. Just the country has seen Mr. Trump court white supremacists and bigots. You have heard him call poorer countries shitholes. His private, in private, he is even worse. He once asked me if I could name a country run by a black person that wasn't a shithole. This was when Barack Obama was president of the United States. Right, so he was saying that America's a shithole. And, and shitholes are created by the policy of so-called white men. Kind of like the Jim Crow laws and things of that nature, which... Uh, kept melanated people of America oppressed, not able to vote, not able to buy property, not able to buy firearms, not, be, be, not having a lot of rights, not able to get loans. You Edomites had hundreds and hundreds of years of a head start financially on the so-called Negro alone. We're not even counted in the so-called Natives and Hispanics yet. And while we were once driving through a struggling neighborhood in Chicago, he commented that only black people could live that way. And he told me that black people would never vote for him because they were too stupid. And yet, I continued to work for him. We all know this particular clip is a surprising. We all knew Donald Trump was racist back, if you didn't know anything, during the Charlottesville situation. Well, he claimed that neo-Nazis and white supremacists are good people, too. Isaiah 14 and 11. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vials, the worm is spread under thee, and worms cover thee, because you're, you're rotting from the core. Your, your pompous, arrogant attitude is being brought low. Right? You're being shamed, so-called uh, 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 white man who, who is the Hebrew Edomite that the Bible speaks of All right, you're being brought low and there's really nothing you can do about it your, your, uh, your leader is, has failed you and he's leading you into world war this is wisdom of Solomon uh, 10 and 3 an unwise king destroyeth his people but through prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. All right, so these, the American cities, man, and the leadership is and has been compromised and is destroyed, man. All right, there is no way out of, of, of the mess that you, that you so-called uh, white people have gotten yourself into, you red Hebrew Edomites. Okay, this is, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon. 2 and verse 10. And it said, Let us oppress the poor righteous man. All right? Because ghettos, remember, ghettos are built. Ghettos just don't spring up. Ghettos are set up. Let us oppress the poor righteous man and let us not spare the widow, nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the age. Let our strength be the law of justice. For that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. So they put Jake in a position where they're feeble, where they can't help they can't help themselves. They don't really have a voice. Alright? They don't really have help or laws to protect them. There's no stand your ground laws that really benefit a, a, a son of Jacob. None. Alright? And then this man here has helped reveal and bring shame upon the American president and among the red Hebrew Edomites. 
And one of the worst inventions ever was high definition TV and cameras. All right, because you, you can clearly see that their skin is red. They are not white. They are indeed the red Hebrew Edomites. So with that, I hope this was an edifying lesson. Call Halal Yahweh Bashan Abishai Bashan Wakar Wadash Wa Ababa Babal.